Hi, it's Ray from Pro Shaver Workshop in Charlton, Massachusetts. We're working on the AI Alpha design. I got uh, Super Apprentice Charlie from Michigan here. He's helping out. He's going to be here for a couple more weeks. It's a long stay. He's learning a ton of stuff. And uh, we've been thinking uh, about this AI progress, what so we've done so far. And uh, this is a new technique that I'm using, using that center board or, or center structure. And uh, I had a, a new thought when we finished up the last episode. Uh, I did mention that we we're going to clone this side. I probably have Mark copy every one of these lines in cardboard, make a new wire, and we'll have it over the other side. But what we don't have from the picture is the actual width of the car. And a lot of cars, overhead view, I've mentioned this before, they taper in towards the front and taper in towards the back. They're fatter in the middle. That gives a little more passenger uh, room in the cockpit. So we have that option because this will bend really easy. But what I want to do, I think, is do all of that, but we'll take this structure out and we won't make any connecting lines to the center because that will limit our ability to figure out what width we're going to use. We'll be able to put the alpha transaxle in, in place, the alpha front end assembly in place, and also the alpha motor. And we've got Mr. Adjustable. We'll make a seat maybe or something. We'll just try to make it... Uh, all the, the variables working before we commit to connecting to those center wires. We can bring that center wire in easily later on, but we need to define exactly what the width of the automobile is. We're not at that stage right now. Right now, Charlie and I are going to fill some more in. I'm going to put some wires in here to fill this front fender in, and Charlie's going to be working on the rear fender. And uh, all what I just described will happen probably in episode 10 or 11 or something like that. So, but as we add these wires, the 3D look becomes more apparent and it gets a little more exciting. So now we're going to bend some wires and we'll weld them in. All right, uh, we put a couple of these in. Um, no, one one in. We're going to put two more in here. And we want to check the, the line here to make sure we're all in line nicely. This has a little rock to it, but this has got a curve, so it's supposed to have a rock there. And that's flowing pretty good. This one is no good. We checked that, and um, that's out of whack. So you can see, I think like right there, we put it like that. And now it's got a pretty big gap. And Charlie, can you hold that right there? The giveaway is if you have to push in, and this is the wrong tool, we need that wire really. I got it right here. So they're all touching, but it's not touching on this one. And oftentimes that'll happen, but if you push this in, it goes negative. That's an error. So anytime it goes negative like that, no good. So that one has to come out and it'll have to be able to hit this 316th wire. Sometimes you use the eighth inch if you're going to be making a stronger curve. And then if it's a mild curve, the 316th will work really good. So we got to cut this one out. We need two more in here. And uh, Charlie can start doing this rear door opening right here. I'm going to put that in. If you have to do it in pieces, that's okay. We can weld them together. So the door opening will come down and then over like this and up and then over like that. We'll make that our goal to put that door opening in two of these and that change that one out. 
And then we got pretty much the side except for the bottom of the front fender and the front section of the rear fender and the back section of the rear fender. But everything else will be pretty much completed. So I'm trying to get the curvature on the door as it comes out right behind, the, right in front of the rear fender there. It swoops down a little bit and curves out and follows the rest of the path of the door with the body line. Are you just making them identical? Huh? Uh, yeah, the bends down the bottom would be the same, and uh, but the heights are all different. What do you think of this line, Mark? Instead of going in for our, that way we can keep our hump. What, it's cutting that one out, or? Yeah, I, I think that this is wrong, how it bends okay. in like that. Yeah. I think what we need to do is it needs to come to, like, a little S with a hump so we can follow this down still and then come into here. Yeah. It's like, weird little pocket there. Yeah, it's a difficult little intersection. Maybe so thinking, maybe bring the door piece, the door line down. First and, and see where it see, falls. See where it comes to, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty close. I think I'm a little premature, though. I got to bend it further down. Yeah. Right, so I got to come down. No, well, maybe not. Because when I get in there, it looks looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut some of this off, you know. Well, that piece is gone, and this piece is going in. We're going to replace it with something with a positive curve coming from the negatives. I think that flows a lot more nicely with the fender. We're going to give it this flow, the door coming in, into the door. Look at it. Yeah, you can tell it fattens up. It, like, it goes pretty smooth, and then right at that rear fender, it's like a hip. Just comes right out. It may be a little aggressive. Yeah. I should probably make this door bar like an inch or so longer so it extrudes past so we can build something to connect the frame to. Uh, well, it's going to go beyond this wire. That's what probably. I was thinking. Yeah, we'll probably have something come beyond it. So, like, oh, like, no, uh, so no, but you can go right to the wire. I think. And then we can just build off of it? Yeah, yeah, just go okay. that way. That'll yeah. be good then. It's going to be going like this. Like, it'll go in and then up. Uh, yeah, right. So, I've got like the up kind of started uh, a little bit, but it would go. More so. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. There's a little joggle there. I decided to put one more station here, one more wire. Uh, that's a nice spacing there now. Um, and then get that in, and then we'll change that out. Charlie's still working on that back door line. Charlie's trying to figure out how that flow, surface flow goes, right, with the door and the uh, rear fender meet. And... Uh, it's very difficult to see the picture is really kind of shaded and dark there in the picture. Uh, this is where if you foamed it or clayed it, you can see how it's supposed to go. But uh, we're not going to take uh, that. We're not going to do those possibilities. So we're going to just have to dope it out the best we can. And uh, it might be five iterations before we get it right over here. It's no big deal to put a wire in and cut it out. Put a wire in, cut it out. Not an issue. I think it looks better when it's following that curve. Our expenditures so far at time, uh, we, this is episode eight, and uh, I think Mark will be putting this up, what, Friday? Friday afternoon or evening. And uh, we're under, I think, $200 total expenditure as far as for materials go. And uh, Charlie's been helping out in the last couple episodes. And we probably have a collective 15 hours of time, maybe 20 hours total. So it, it's not it's not a huge uh, expense of any any type at all. Uh, making the wire form is is a labor proposition mostly. It's it's the most important part because it's all of the measurement of the body, and uh, the body is the outer capsule or, or skin, uh, clothing or in covering all the components and it's got to be aesthetic and it's got to be functional and it's got to be dimensionally and proportionally correct so that's what the process is that's where the art is that's where the juice of this job is and the fun of it 
And if you started doing it yourself in your own workshop, you're going to you're going to see the problems that you encounter. And they're, they're all easy to solve problems. There's nothing that's uh, insurmountable. And a great thing is having a second opinion. Sometimes second opinions are pretty corrosive. They, they say just snide remarks or whatever. But uh, maybe your wife will come in and say, oh, it looks pretty good, but... And she might see something that you don't see, or your friend comes over and sees something you don't see. So you have to live with it, and... Uh, there's no rush here at all. We want to make this as best we can. If we find out that after we, we look at this and the rear fender is a little too big or something, we'll just cut it off and make a new rear fender. That's all. It's very simple. Just going for a very slight curve, slight radius. Trying to match. My drawing may not be right either. I think this looks better. What do you think? A little more curve. Very brief. But I think we're going to be doing one more. I think we're... Split the difference. Between the two? Yep. And like a... Yep. Well, let's see. Let's work that out. So Mark said we're going to split the difference, so we're going to split the difference. I think you're right. I think that's a sexier line. I think that was pretty good word by you try that all right so this wire is is way in so we've got to adjust this wire we're going to make a new wire we'll make a new wire adjacent to it and i'm capturing that curve and it needs to come out a little bit more here so we'll start with something like that i believe that might be more appropriate Well, we bent these last time, or maybe two times ago, to the viewers. I'm not sure exactly, but I need to kind of figure out how we're going to end this rear wheel arch and bring it in. That way I can follow that profile from the door. So sinking, I might put a little more bend into there because it needs to come up to about here. So I'm going to bring this up a couple inches, or this in maybe. To get rid of the adjustable clamp here, because we've got it where we want it, uh, I just put a little tack on those stocks. Those are going to be replaced with a, a much stronger stock, uh, three-quarter tubing probably, three-quarter square tubing. All right, so I got a notch off here. I get that in there. So I'm trying to figure out the back of the rear door opening. So far I have this top bar that comes up to the top frame of the cell into the window but now I'm trying to figure out this bottom corner which is going to have to go down curve in slightly and then follow that contour around so essentially the back edge of the door has got a flare out yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking yeah and so I'm going to follow this flare down and then curve it up okay how do we're I like we're thinking it's going to be about this high so from the rendering oh the bottom like it, of the door yeah it looks like it comes just underneath the center of the wheel okay i like that yeah so i'm thinking i'm going to put it right in here yeah so follow this contour i uh put the corrected wire in i'm going to cut this one out now these are going to need a little adjustment i put those in but i'm not going to touch them yet i'm going to put one more here and i'll have all my tasks done except for the front edge. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that tonight. Uh, Charlie will establish the bottom uh, of the door, and that'll come over, and then come around like this, and then go over. Uh, that might be the next episode. So right now I want to try to cut this out and put one more station in here. The doors are interesting because they're like on a three-axis. Like as far as like we're having to come down oh, and, yeah. and then follow that yeah. as opposed to rest the lines are more 2D. Yeah, it's easy if you're foaming it. Yeah. Or clay it. 
Very easy. Just carve it out. And if you carve too much, add more back. Yeah, you got to add, subtract. But we have add, subtract medium too because we just cut the wire out and put a new wire in. Pretty simple. Yeah, and I think that's the third rendition that it took to get here. And maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes worth of time bending, cutting, changing, thinking, drawing. It's coming. We should probably put another one in the door there too. One right here. I'll wait till we'll see I finish that. Yeah, I'm having a hard time with this one. Yeah. Interesting. All right, why don't, why don't you do this? Um, Let's establish the bottom right here for the door. Okay. Let's get that in. And I'll play with that one later. Yeah. Let's see. Strange indeed. So Charlie is having a, a little bit of a problem solving that uh, very difficult little corner over there at the end of the back edge of the door and where the front edge of the fender meet, the rear fender. Um, so that could be an hour of consultation here between him and I and uh, I got my tasks accomplished except for this leading edge of the door I think I'm going to hold that over to episode 9 between uh, this episode episode 8 and episode 9 we'll fine tune some of these wires off camera and uh, episode 9 will make our goal to get that door all defined we'll, we'll work on that problem that's a difficult problem. The rest of it has so far been pretty simple. It's just there's a, a bunch of reverses there, and it's a lot of sculptural flow on the surfaces. And uh, it's going to take some uh, uh, thought about it and many attempts to, to get it just right. So I think we're going to cut it right here. Uh, this is Episode 8 of Building the AI Alpha. Tell all your friends. See if you can share it on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. And it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop in Child, Massachusetts, and Charlie from Michigan. He's the super apprentice, and he keeps getting better. And this is like his sixth trip here. And uh, watch Charlie in the future. He's going to be a great uh, shaper and fabricator. Thanks, Thanks for watching.